Have you ever heard people talk about when the next recession is coming? This word gets mentioned in the news and certain industries like it's some kind of plague that will spell disaster for everyone, but it's really just a normal part of the economic cycle that every country goes through. And as long as you understand what it is, how to prepare for it, and how to respond when it happens, it's really nothing to be afraid of. An economic recession is kind of like the natural changing of the seasons. In the same way that winter and summer don't last forever, good and bad economic times are never permanent. It's only a matter of time until the season changes, and when that happens, we see changes in the ways that people make money and how employment in different sectors of the economy rises and falls. So what is a recession exactly? A recession is a notable and widespread decline in economic performance that continues for more than a few months. It's a time when the economy sees a reduction in the gross domestic product for at least half a year. In other words, a recession doesn't just affect one person, one company, or one industry. It affects an entire country's economy as a whole. Now, that doesn't mean everyone is doing worse during a recession, but the overall value of all the finished goods and services that the entire country produces during this time, which is the gross domestic product, or the GDP, which is generally used as a broad indicator of an entire country's economic health, trends downward. A recession is often characterized by a sharp decline in business sales, and this drop in sales and revenue can cause massive layoffs as businesses try to cope with this loss of revenue by cutting costs. Some businesses may even go bankrupt altogether. A lot of companies may cut wages and benefits during this time as well. The real estate market is one of the big sectors of the economy that's most likely to suffer first during a recession. Understandably, a lot of prospective buyers become gun-shy about buying a new house during a recession because they have less purchasing power and they're less likely to take on big new financial risks. As a result, listed properties take longer to sell, which increases the overall supply of housing and pushes prices lower, causing property values to drop. At the same time, lenders get a lot more cautious in deciding who they're going to lend money to for mortgages and other types of loans. They may require bigger down payments or find other ways to protect themselves, like requiring higher credit scores or more collateral from their borrowers. Foreclosures and short sales also usually rise during a recession because a lot more borrowers will default on their mortgages as they start to suffer a severe loss of income. As lenders get stricter and consumers have less money to work with, this can also have a big impact on the new construction market because not only is demand for housing going down, but it's harder to get loans and people are less willing to take on additional debt. This makes a recession even worse because with all the builders that are employed and materials that are sold when each new home is built, there is a huge positive impact from new construction. And when new construction slows down or stops altogether, it just further constricts economic growth and continues the overall downward trend. Now, this all may sound pretty bleak, and in some ways, it is. But there is a silver lining in every recession, especially if you're a real estate investor or if you have any type of business savvy and you know how to spot opportunities when prices are low. As prices of real estate and a lot of other assets fall during a recession, you can take advantage of the lower prices and fewer competing buyers in the market by acquiring properties at prices far below their market value. You'll also have a much larger inventory of properties to choose from. When the supply is larger and demand is low, this creates a buyer's market that gives you a huge advantage in price negotiations. You're also more likely to find bargains from short sales and foreclosures that are a lot more prevalent during a recession. As a buyer, you can also benefit when the Federal Reserve cuts interest rates, which has a direct impact on the interest rates you'll be able to get when borrowing from a bank or credit union to buy new properties. The Fed will typically reduce its benchmark interest rate during this time because they know it will encourage people to keep borrowing and pouring new money into the economy. So what causes a recession exactly? Well, let's look at a few common triggers. First on the list is uncontrolled debt. When individuals and businesses take on excessive debt, this can lead to soaring debt servicing costs. Costs. And this situation can trigger massive loan defaults and bankruptcies from the businesses and individuals that frankly just have way too much debt and they're paying way too high of a monthly payment in order to keep their loans paid current. And if enough individuals and businesses suffer this fate at the same time where everybody is unable to make their payments, it can eventually lead to a bank failure. And when an entire bank starts falling apart, it creates an even tighter money market where loans are even harder to obtain in the first place. Another recession trigger is excessive inflation or deflation, which is basically just a sharp rise or decline in the value of currency and prices of goods and services that can create a significant disturbance to the economy. Excessive and persistent inflation and deflation can trigger a recession. This is why the Federal Reserve constantly monitors price changes. It can fight runaway inflation by raising interest rates to temper economic activities. Now, on the flip side, it can also lower bank reserve limits to counter excessive deflation. Economists also attribute some psychological factors to the economic decline 
China that leads to a recession. For example, investors can be overly optimistic about surges in economic growth. This kind of over-optimism causes investors to keep plowing their dollars into certain investments that will lead to a stock market and or real estate market bubble that will eventually burst. And once these markets pop, panic selling ensues, the markets crash, and a recession follows. If you want to learn more about what causes a recession and how recessions work, be sure to check out the full article at retipster.com, which you can find linked beneath this video. And if you want to expand your real estate knowledge, be sure to check out this next video, and we'll see you there.